How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here, back with another car mechanic simulator. And as you can tell here by the look in our garage, except for that one over here, we got some supercars in the garage today. I mean, I guess we got two supercars and we have a Chevy Corvette. Um, so this is a McLaren, I think it's a 600 LP, LT, 600 LT Spider. But that's not what we're working on today. We're just doing one short quick video about what I picked up in an auction earlier. That is right, in an auction. I got this C7R, I think. Yeah, it's a C7R Corvette. Let me open the door here. This thing is like just, I don't even, I, don't, I can't even get in here. I don't think I can get in. Yeah, it doesn't even, doesn't even take seats. That's right, you can't even get in this thing. Let me just do a quick look around, show you guys everything. We, no, we'll just pop everything open. That's right. So this is the C7R. This is a racing Corvette a Z06. Z06, yeah, of course it's Z06. Um, it's got the supercharged V8. Uh, I don't think it has anything done to it, as far as I am aware. Um, I'm gonna take it on the test path in a minute here to figure out what else we got going on. Um, but I bought it from auction. Um, I bought it, I think it was a five star on the auction. Um, so it is above roughly 90 and everything. The interior, it's 88, it's whatever way I can clean it out real quick and it'll be 100. Um, but we're gonna go through and replace just a couple of things, probably redo the body a little bit. Um, some of these panels here are a little worse for wear than others, like oddly enough. Um, like any amount of damage for some reason, like this door is scratched just beyond belief for some, I, it's, it's, it's beyond me. Um, so we're going to repair a lot of these door panels, put them right back on. Maybe have to buy a couple new windows and stuff like that. But that is it. And then at the end of this, we are going to be converting this to a police car. That is right. There was a new library that came out. Um, I think it, I don't remember who it was done by actually. Um, but it was uh, just put out a couple days ago. I finally figured out how to do it. Um, you had to like, go into your Steam files and transfer stuff around. But let me just let me get this moving. All right, test path, no oil. Of course there's no oil. Why would there be oil in an engine, you know? And we can't see a thing. And there we go. All right, well, at least we know it has uh, good oil in it. All right, let's take it on the test path. I'm going to run it and see how it does. Okay, so obviously with this test path here, I'm not really anticipating anything to be too bad. Whoa, the interior of this is, it's pretty insane. Pretty insane, actually. Okay, let's get the rear brakes done. So we got 90 in the front, 96, 95 in the rear, that's even better. And then this is just going to shake up our front suspension here and check that. Uh, 90s, okay. So this was definitely not too bad of a purchase. I did pay a premium though, I will say that. This car did run me about 600,000. Alright, sweet. Yeah, it ran me close to 600,000 and it's only worth this much and if I wanted this restoration bonus to be over 100k I'd have to go through and replace absolutely everything which we're not going to do um, but there we go that shows us a lot of parts are actually pretty good most of the bushings and stuff like that are all the stuff that's in bad condition um, but now we're going to oh there we go I mean, we're going to work on the uh, work on the body here so I think every single part of the body is damaged except for the trunk all right, well, we'll take the trunk off anyways, but yeah, we're going to take every single last part off, repair all of them. This is all body. This is bumper. And hopefully we'll be able to repair a lot of these because I don't want to have to trash actually like everything, but I wonder what that's attached. Is that attached to the fender? So give me these parts. Anything else? Nope. 
And this the, this is a race car though, guys. So remember that also. This is a race car. What am I missing? Front windows. Body windows. Front windows. All right, so there we go. Now we have the C7 stripped down to its just base shell, pretty much. Um, still looks really good. Obviously, all the repair chances on this are going to be 99% because everything is above 50. All right. Just spent a couple bucks, you know, fixing everything up. I got to make sure everything's 100, though, before I put it back on. Just new, uh, new paint jobs is what I'm assuming we got. We will need new windows all around because you can't, yeah, you can't do the, you can't fix your windows. That kind of sucks, but it's okay. But man, this mod is done so incredibly well. It looks so good. Okay, now let's go grab our windows. We need the two side windows, main windows, front and rear. So... C7R. Okay. Well, there's only one set of windows that we can get in the entire thing, so. Uh, hold on, let me. There you go. So let me take this off. So I can get our interior pieces put in. There we go. Otherwise, the windows would have been blocking them, and I wouldn't have been able to put them back in. Is that a damaged trunk window that I just tried to put in? I think it was. Alright, make sure we're putting all the correct windows in. Hundreds, hundred, hundred. Alright, around here. Alright, so there we go. That's good. That's at 100. Ah, get off the McLaren. Alright, move over our detailing kit. Give this bad boy a quick detail. How's the frame? 94. All right, we can patch that up a wee bit. I don't know if the money we're spending on this is going to be... Oh, uh, maybe it is actually. Yeah, I think the money we're spending on this is actually coming out in our favor. Okay, so 100, 92, 100, 100. Um, so that looks good to me. Let's move this now to the dyno and see what our dyno numbers are. I'm wondering if this is performance at all or if it's stock. I'm not sure if the auction can sell you performance uh, cars. So like modded pieces and whatnot, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's see if this thing holds up to its 580-ish horsepower. I'm expecting at least 570. Oh wow, okay. So it's only making 544 horsepower with 498 foot-pounds of torque. So it's about a um, upper six, more about like a 7% loss in both areas. Um, if you guys don't know why, that is because the parts, some of the parts conditions are a little bit less than they were. Um, so when the parts deteriorate a little bit, even like 10%, like you see there, um, when they're all deteriorated 10%, then that's when we start losing a little bit of power. Um, here and there which kind of sucks yeah but it's all right what are you gonna do um, and now for the grand finale of what I'm gonna do to this c7 since we're not really doing anything too in-depth um, mod wise yet I'm gonna try and find a junk c7 for that there is a library I had to show you guys not this one but this one that is right, guys. We have a C7 Highway Patrol Corvette or Highway Patrol Livery um, for the Corvette. This is this is pretty cool, if you ask me. Safety, service, and security, and we got number uh, 219 here. So yeah, I think this this livery is insane. That's the whole reason I really, really, really wanted to work on this C7. Um, but obviously, I want to find another one and build it up from the ground up. It's just super, super, super hard to find these in the junkyard. And I tried for about an hour earlier and couldn't find them. So, um, okay. So, 
Let's take the Corvette to the racetrack and see how it handles. I haven't been on the racetrack in so long. Um, I didn't check tires, by the way, so tires could be bad. Um, I'm anticipating they're probably pretty good, though, because everything else was roughly 90-ish. Okay. Well, so this is what she looks like. This is a racing Corvette. I will say that again. It is a racing Corvette. So it is meant to go fast. Um, let's see what she can put down. Oh, yeah. These tires are pretty good. I think these are the uh, the Dominator tires. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh. These are slicks, actually. Okay, never mind. These are actually slicks, guys. You know what? We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna back this up and we're gonna return to the garage. I did not realize. I didn't notice until just then um, when I turned the tire. I saw there's no tread on them. So let's take these bad boys on the uh, slick on the drag strip. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, those have no tread. <laughs> Okay, note to self. You can't go racing with slicks. I mean, you can, but not at this much horsepower. All right, so now hopefully we should see a good number to be put down. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, those are slicks. Those did not slip at all. All right, 100 miles an hour. One fifty. Okay, it's got it's it's pretty quick, but it's not the quickest. And when's our two hundred mile guy gonna hit? Oh, probably one ninety right here. No, one eighty six. Okay, well, that is not too bad. That was a pretty quick zero to thirty, zero to sixty. It was like a one point eight and like a three point something. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that any day. But there we go, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. Um, I do plan on finding this Corvette in the junkyard, like I said, and working on it from the ground up because I really want to see how far we can push this uh, platform here. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. This thing looks amazing. Uh, that's all I got to say. Great work done by the modders. Um, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.